coming out in this story. <laughs> or can I really follow someone who's coming out? But I'm going to give it a shot anyway. Um, so, so around uh, 2002, I was working in sales because I have a degree in communications and that's pretty much all you can do with that. <laughs> and uh, so I was in sales, I was in ad sales. I was working for Philly.com doing internet advertising. And really, not that many people had websites. And 9-11 um, uh, happened, and they cut like half their sales staff, including me, and I was out of a job, and I was a single mom at the time. Um, two small children, so I was pretty much, I was pretty much sell, I was pretty much clean toilets for the right salary, let's be honest. So I was like ready to get any sales job I could find. I went on a million interviews, and, and I think because of the way that the time was, People wanted to hire, but they were scared to hire. And so I was like, after a while, I became like a professional interviewer. Like I was interviewing a lot. And I wasn't getting jobs, and it was upsetting and depressing. So um, like any good, slightly fluffy girl, rather than dying, I'm like, you know what, I'm going to dye my hair. And maybe that'll give me the confidence that I need. <laughs> you know, if I'm like a little bit of a different person, and I'll feel really confident, and then, you know. So, so here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to be blonde. I'm gonna dye my hair blonde and I'm gonna straighten it. Because I also had a theory then that if you had curly hair, it makes you look a little crazy. <laughs> it makes you look a little off kilter and maybe they weren't trusting me with their sales and their income because I look a little nutters maybe. <laughs> so, so I decided, no, not just to straighten it, then I'm gonna dye it blonde. And I know, because I have gray hair and I've had it like once since I was 18, so I've been dying it ever since, that when you dye your hair out of a box, it, what it does, this a little hair lesson for you, it opens the pores so that the color will deposit and then closes them back up. But if you have curly hair, your, pore, your, your hair pores already open. That's what makes them do this. So when you die out of a box, it, acts, it, make, it makes it like much frizzier. Didn't care. Just decided I'm just going to go for it. and just Because people dye their hair blonde all the time. Why can't that be me, right? So get the box of the blondest hair color I can find. Um, but but I made sure it was ash blonde so that it didn't turn orange. You can't have that. So so I get like the grayest blonde that I can find. I put on my hair. I know my hair is dark. This is pretty much natural. Um, you know. <laughs> I have some gray roots. I, mean, I do have gray roots, and now they're worse than they were like ten years ago. And so of course the blonde took the best to the gray roots, right? Because that's my natural hair because it's lighter. So I can see it working, and I'm like super excited, and I'm like, I'm just going to leave it on the back just a little longer, because um, I really want them to match. And uh, I can see it getting blonde. I know if I just wait long enough, it's going to be it's going to be good, right? It's going to be really good. So then I, I wash it out, and it is truly the whitest blonde you've ever seen right here. <laughs> and then as it like washes out and gets worse, it's like, it's orange. And it's not, it's not like pretty, like, kind of strawberry blonde orange. It is like circus orange. <laughs> and so I thought, okay, well, that's cool, because I'll just straighten it, and I'll still, maybe I can still look like a little bit um, sophisticated <laughs> by, by straightening it. I'm going to straighten it, and then I'll at least look slick and smooth, right? But because, like I said, it opened those pores, it was the frizziest it had ever been, and no amount of product was going to I mean, it just got wider. The more I straightened it, the more it just got wider. It's like you could see each strand of hair running for its life, like off my head, like, help, help. So I decided, what can I do? Because at this point, also when you dye your hair out of a box, you can't do it twice, even in a week. Like, you kind of have to wait a couple weeks because otherwise it'll break and fall off. <laughs> and the interview was, of course, the next day. I had an interview the next day because I thought, I was just like totally an impulse. So what I'm left with is the option to just slick it back as tight as I, you know, like make a bun so that maybe they won't notice <laughs> if I can just slick it back as much as possible. So like I, I, I like comb it and slick it and make like the tightest bun. So probably the guy coming forward thought, I just had plastic surgery, that's how tight <laughs> my hair was. And then leaving, he thought I had just escaped from the circus. I'm sure because it's like an orange bun in the back, like a bright orange bun, but just a little blonde. So I thought maybe we'll just notice the blonde. I won't see the orange, you know, as I'm leaving. And so, um, yeah, I didn't get that job. <laughs> and uh, I ended up ending fixing that my hair, but uh, yeah, I didn't get that job, or, and then I decided shortly after the sales maybe wasn't for me if I was going to be that desperate. Um, but yeah, that's not a good first impression to make in a job interview. <laughs>